Okay, so uh, uh, very good morning to all of you. This is uh, uh, this is as as you know that uh, one series is distinguished lecture series, and today we are uh, you know very proud to have Dr. Subhash Salimke, and we are chasing him, uh, you know, from since last uh, few months. But finally, he has given time to us, and he is here. So uh, I request to all the especially the young researchers and because we requested Dr. Salamke to, you know, uh, make his presentation and talk, especially to, you know, for, for youngsters to understanding the health system biology, which is one of the mandate of NMR. So today we have uh, Dr. Subhash Salamke. Before uh, I, you know, uh, read about him a few lines, I request Dr. Rahi to say a few words about uh, this. Yes. Uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, it's given me immense pleasure and satisfaction, and I'm extremely happy to have our esteemed guest today in NAMR, uh, Dr. Subhash Salunke, whom I have been, uh, you know, observing and working with uh, in some of the activities uh, coordinated by the National Program for Vector-Borne Disease Control Program. Now it's called Center and all, but uh, I had the good fortune to work under Sir's leadership in assessing and in reviewing some of the national control programs. So I consider him as epitome of uh, you know, public health, the application of public health principles in the field, not only for the programmatic purposes, but what how we should be perceiving uh, the diseases, not in the disease state, but as uh, public health in general. So it's, it gives me a lot of pleasure to have him here as a chief guest for this, for this particular talk today. And this will be giving a perspective to all of us uh, about uh, the, well, he has chosen the topic of public health capacities, which is very pertinent. And beyond capacities, he will talk about his long and very varied experience, rich experience spanning from smallpox to malaria to Kala Azar, with which he is associated with currently with the national program. So it's a good fortune to have him in there and have him here in our institute so that he can give us some pearls of wisdom. And we will also have a good, very good interaction with him. And we are hopeful to have a longer association with him uh, from today onwards. So welcome to Dr. Subhash Salunke, sir. Thank you for coming here, sir. Thank you. So before before uh, uh, he start his talk, I would like to read a you know, small introduction for him. Uh, I know this is, this is we tried to cut it down in, in, in one page. So currently he is a uh, advisor to honorable minister of health and family welfare government of Maharashtra, India. He is an MBBS and diploma in public health, a diploma in industrial health and MD from University of Pune. Uh, he has been an effective and popular faculty in the subject of preventive and social media medicine of nine years and a postgraduate guide. He was adjunct associate professor of biological sciences, human ecology at University of Texas U school of public health. His 30 years experience in public health department spans from deputy director to director general health services of Maharashtra. He has navigated various portfolios in public health, not only by fulfilling goals and targets, but also demonstrating innovative and rational ways. Most of his illustrative example of achievement in contemporary public health animated uh, from his own personal experience. His stint with WHO CRO spanned from being regional advisor in 2005 to assistant regional director in 2009 including three years as a WHO representative to Indonesia. He has been regularly contributing to the development of public health in country as a member of various committees of state and ministry of health and family welfare government of India. He has assisted state governments to initiate a number of schemes, mainly focuses on health services to poorer society of society, poorer section of the society. He was, he was actively involved in the formulating project like uh, health system development for Maharashtra that was supported by the World Bank. He has shown his leadership in uh, designing HIV AIDS control special program called AVERT with assistance of USAID of, for Maharashtra state. He was one of the members of designing national AIDS control program phase two during 99 to 2000. That was a major step in control of HIV AIDS through national program for control of HIV. And he has been technical advisor of government of Maharashtra on COVID-19 also. So, with this brief introduction, I, I request Professor Saloke, sir, all yours. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, friends, uh, I wish to sincerely thank, genuinely thank 
Dr. Manjurahi, Dr. Sachin Sharma, and all the colleagues of this wonderful institution for giving me an opportunity to interact with you. And uh, uh, when it is stated that it is supposed to be a lecture, somehow lecture makes me a little uncomfortable. So I personally feel more than the lecture, uh, it will be an interactive session. That's what I believe. Because we are discussing public health. And in public health, there are issues which shouldn't be only didactic. That lecture and that too, what, what is the word they have used? Distinguished lecture. So I mean, let us try and understand that we I'm trying to uh, share with you my one experience, my perception, my views. Obviously, I do not desire nor I feel that every one of you will agree with me. Some of you may not agree. As a matter of fact, I think this uh, attitude which was cultivated intentionally during uh, some period in medical colleges with the bus lecturer ne ya lecture dene wale ne jo bol diya wo sab ne sunna hai aur sab thik thak hai it is correct and thou shall not disagree that concept is changed now i personally feel that as of now teachers learn more from their students than they may have the knowledge in particular area so I, please let me at the outset state that I'm not going to give you lecture, but I'm going to initiate discussion based upon my perception, experience, and what I feel about public health capacity, specifically, how do we build it towards the elimination part? Public health capacity building is a huge, you know, kind of an area, but I'm trying to also, this, the entire topic is quite huge. I'm sorry, to cover it in just uh, 45 minutes or so, is it's a challenging task. I will, I will make the attempt. Uh, you are seeing this first slide, wherein you find myself at the, in my farm, I'm a farmer. Yeah, yeah. I'm a farmer and not this one. I'm a farmer who's a practicing farmer. My wife is more practicing farmer. I'm actually, uh, you can say visiting farmer. We have that concept of visiting experts. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I know how to, you know, take care of sugar cane, kaun sa khad dalna hai, kap karna hai, kap pani dena hai, kitna dena hai. I, I know from a little distance, even though my wife is more expert in that field. So visiting person has some knowledge, but the person who actually works in public health, that is the most critical part. And uh, before coming, uh, before starting my this lecture, I had discussion with Dr. Rai and I was saying that institutions like this, which are part of ICMR, are not known to the number of people in the country, including the people who are supposed to be heading the public health department. And I admit that in last 50 years, this is first time I have come to this institution, thanks to Manju. I personally feel ICMR and all ICMR institutions play a great role in building the capacity of public health of this country. But it is one, it is not known. Two, I won't say that you have to do marketing, but certainly there has to be a kind of a process in which ICMR invites the directors of health services of various states, invites the younger generation of various states who are likely to remain in public health administration, public health management for a number of years, and visit one after another. I recently also, I'm also part of the Scientific Advisory Committee of VCRC, another uh, ICMR issue. I'm so impressed with that institution. The younger scientists there, the way they are looking after a kind of a field operations and applications of various vector borne disease and research into interventions. This is so the connection between the field implementers and that of the institution like yours has to be evolved. Unfortunately, these are still working in silos. So I was requesting Manju and through her, if as and when I get opportunity, we'll also speak to Secretary uh, DHR and also DGSMR. But kar lijiye. Sub directors ko routinely bula lijiye. Directors are from states. You plan in such a way that let them know that BCRC, vector-borne disease, 
प्रिवेंशन में कितना काम करते हैं क्या कर रहे हैं स्ट्रेंथ क्या है आपके इंस्टीट्यूट में कितना ये काम हो रहा है बिकॉज इफ वी नो फॉर एग्जाम्पल एन आई वी वॉज आवर पार्टनर वेन आई वॉज डायरेक्टर हेल्थ सर्विसेज इन महाराष्ट्र और इवन बिफोर डायरेक्टर हेल्थ सर्विस इन बीजे मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड वेन आई वॉज लुकिंग आफ्टर ऑल द प्रोग्राम्स इन महाराष्ट्र आवर रिलेशनशिप विथ एन आई वी वॉज सो क्लोज आई वी इज टू कंसिडर ये आई सी एम आर के ही नहीं हमारी इंस्टीट्यूट है and we try to help the institution in such a way that uh, they are our partners on same lines we have institutions in pune taking care of the hiv aids nari nari actually nari's establishment long time back to get the land for nari i tried my best as a dg that time so i personally felt nari niv these icmr institutions are integral part of the respective states and also the respective public health force and unless the, the this understanding of partnership it is impossible for any state or even at the national level to understand who are your partners will you if you ask a direct health services of uttar pradesh they have dgs there are n number of dgs so if you ask any one of the dg who is relevant to ki bhai ye mera ki kya role hai आईसीएमआर के इंस्टीट्यूशन का क्या रोल है आई एम हंड्रेड परसेंट सर्टन इफ आई एम प्रूव रॉन्ग आई विल डिलाइटेड बट इफ यू आस मोस्ट ऑफ दी स्टेट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स टू फाइंड आउट वॉट एग्जैक्टली द रोल प्लेड बाय आई सी एम आर इंस्टीट्यूशन यू विल नॉट गेट वेरी सेटिस्फैक्ट्री आंसर द रियलिटी सो आई फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट आई पर्सनली फील दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड द कैपेसिटी ऑफ पब्लिक हेल्थ ऑफ अ गिवन कंट्री एंड वी आर स्पेसिफिकली फोकसिंग ऑन आवर कंट्री First and foremost, find out who are our partners. What is our strength? Like we normally consider SWOT analysis, so understand this strength, and that strength need to be enhanced. Gaps need to be uh, breached. We need to ensure that those gaps, those deficiencies, need to be taken care of. So I'm trying to project this slide and indicate to you that I am a person who has been. born and brought up in the rural area i still continue to be a farming uh, as a my profession and i can confidently say that ground realities is the foundation on which we have to work for building the capacity of our nation of our country from all perspective but we are going to focus on the elimination of the disease so we will go to the next slide टेक्नोलॉजी का मेरा कुछ ज्यादा जमता नहीं यू कैन हेल्प मी यस या सो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस यूज फ्यू टर्म्स आई एम गोइंग टू यूज फ्यू टर्म्स इन माय इंटरेक्शन और व्हाट एवर लेक्चर यू कैन से एंड दोस टर्म्स व्हाट आई मीन बाय दोस टर्म्स दैट आई वांट टू शेयर इट विथ यू सो दैट वी आर ऑन द सेम प्लेटफॉर्म पब्लिक हेल्थ व्हाट इज पब्लिक हेल्थ एज इज डिफाइंड बाय डब्ल्यू एच public health refers to all organized measures with the public or private to prevent disease promote health and prolong life among the population as a whole its activities to a, uh, aim to provide conditions in which people can be healthy and focus on entire population not on an individual patients or a disease so this is try and understand that we when we say public health we are specifically focusing upon these criteria are not patient oriented obviously individuals become eventually society but at the same time we go beyond patient care patient care is a part of it but beyond that we have to consider into these factors then you go to cdc definition i mean i am not going to go into the definition part or all these slides i want to focus more on the last slide so what you and me if you are on the same platform then you will try and appreciate what i am presenting to you next let's go to next slide uh, so next slide is uh, you know uske pehle kaun sa hai yeah yeah so public health and then let's go next slide is go well, thank you now we are going to use these three terms of which only elimination central term is something which i want to mainly focus upon we find that people use these three terms jaise dil mein aaye bata dete hai no you know we we know people want garibi eradicate karni hai so eradication control elimination these three terms are 
misused by, and I can understand people who do not know or do not have background, or general nature politicians, that's their right. We have to eradicate power. We have to eradicate power. But what do you understand by term control? What do you understand by term elimination? One, what do you understand by term eradication? So these three definitions are absolutely must. What is control? Is the reduction of disease incidence, prevalence. Uh, those scientists who are sitting in this room, I hope even though you are laboratory scientists, basics of public health, uh, uh, you must have read, right? I will, um, slight deviation, but very important one. I was suggesting to Dr. I and through her ICMR that everyone who works in these institutions, whether it is NIV, MERA, uh, NARI, whatever, see, you have your own speciality, your lab science specialist, somebody is virology, somebody is uh, whatever, your own biological sciences ki speciality, hai, and you are expert into that, improve on that. Please, please ensure that you reach the level of expertise and furthermore. However, that your role is not one singular vertical compartment. You are also part of the public health. So basics of public health and its relevance to your expertise need to be known on both sides. You yourself must know that and public health administrators must know. That. I must know that in Mera, there are two dozen scientists who are expert into lab. Like we used to say that, any outbreak which we suspected as a part viral outbreak in Maharashtra, NIV, next moment, NIV's team will be with us. With confidence, I can state you, NIV scientists know public health and the ground realities of many states because they work so closely with us. Every outbreak prone disease which gives right outbreak, NIV's team is bound to be there. So the interaction between the health services district health system and that of the NIV is so close, so good. I personally feel all those, I think ICMR ke kuch nahi, kuch 27, 28 hai na? So we are 26 institutes and NAMR has eight field stations in the states. Yeah, so they are closely associated with the state governments and they work together hand in Excellent. hand. Excellent. Now that is the basis. So every scientist working in all these institutions must know their own area of speciality and must you know try and get excellence into that. However, its relevance towards whether elimination program, whatever, whatever that you are now this particular area, this institute is focusing on the mainly on the malaria, mainly on the vector borne diseases, NIV is mainly on the viral uh, virological sciences, or mainly on the outbreak prone disease, which have virus as a kind of a uh, starting factor or starting agents. So that area of excellence is one part. However, its implications and relevance to our broader public health also needs to be kept in mind. And that's the reason I was suggesting to you that words like incidence, prevalence, these require to be understood. So reduction of disease incidence, new cases, prevalence, total cases, morbidity, those who are falling sick and resulting into the kind of like patients, and on or mortality, death. So, iska reduction jo karna hai to a locally acceptable level as a result of deliberate efforts. It doesn't happen automatically ki Bhagwan karega to hoga. Isa Bhagwan ke upar nahi chhodna hai. Deliberate efforts to be done by the system so as it is reduction is there. And need to be continued interventions measures as is required to maintain that reduction. Otherwise you leave those measures Sudden, there will be again increase in the incidence, increase in the prevalence, morbidity, mortality. That shouldn't happen at a particular level. It needs to maintain that control. Now, elimination is a very peculiar term, or but not peculiar, particular term. It is related to both infection and disease. It could be elimination of infection. It could be result. It could be elimination of disease, and it is defined by achievements of measurable goals, targets set by WHO. Blah blah blah. Whatever it is, reason. In nutshell. It is cessation of transmission of an organism throughout the country or an area. No new disease, like in malaria elimination, we have defined that. Kalazar, we have defined that. That is elimination. No new infection or no new disease. 
a particular level, particular time. Then comes the eradication. Eradication is final uprooting. जड़ से उखाड़ के फेंक दो आजकल ये टर्म बड़ा इस्तेमाल किया जाता है इनको जड़ के उखाड़ के फेंक दो कौन किसको क्या करेगा कुछ मालूम नहीं है तो ये जड़ के उखाड़ के फेंक देने का मतलब है इरेडिकेशन हाउ मेनी डिसीजन वी हैव इरेडिकेटेड बाय द वे एनी वन ऑफ यू एनी अदर इट्स अ ग्लोबल फिनोमिना प्लीज डियर फ्रेंड्स इट्स अ ग्लोबल फिनोमिना अभी कोरोना कर रहे हैं सर हाँ कोरोना का इरेडिकेट हो ही नहीं सकता माय डियर फ्रेंड्स हो नहीं सकता कोरोना का इन्फ्लुएंजा लाइक इलनेसेस विल नेवर बी इरेडिकेटेड अनलेस दे देम सोल डिसाइड टू डू दैट नहीं होगा इलिमिनेशन कंट्रोल हो सकता है इरेडिकेशन ग्लोबल इरेडिकेशन आज ऑफ टुडे आज तारीख कितनी है पंद्रह है ना 15th September 2022, 11:25. Globally, we have been able to achieve only one, and that is smallpox, which is the second disease which is on the brink of eradication, is dracunculosis or guinea worm. These are the only one achieved, second about to be. Rest of the all diseases listed for elimination. They are listed for elimination. Which are they? We'll uh, look at it. So the eradication is a term. So please remember, we have to use these terms. At least we means those who are part of the uh, scientific community. Uh, if you switch your side from this to daga ke slogan karna shuru kar de, then you are allowed to use this term. Aise ke waisa, waisa ke waisa kar sakte. But as a scientist, as a community which is part of the scientific world, these three terms need to be clearly understood. And we are going to speak about. elimination this is what today's discussion is let's go to the next term. next slide <coughs> and to achieve that elimination that it is cessation of transmission in a region in india india is as good as many nations our population our geographical area and what is true in one part of our country may not be necessarily true in the other part there are so many things which are so different those of us who live in maharashtra when they go to north eastern region to like kaha gaye bhai pehle dafa when they go there the culture different food different looks different everything is different somebody who is in the north eastern goes to tamil nadu he or she finds is that bhai totally different fir bhi to we are all together you know what is there political slogan unity in diversity so we we are a great example of that unity in diversity all of us sitting here on this table itself somebody is from up somebody is from maharashtra somebody is from punjab etc etc but please remember it has also influence on the public health and outcomes of the diseases because let us understand outcomes of the diseases are influenced by these factors geographical location temperature food habits urban rural slums in any city not necessarily mumbai mumbai has lot many slums but any city in the slum and then you find that the environment is so conducive for transmission of diseases i always feel that if you want to take care of whether control or elimination eradication ki baat hum nahi karenge lekin even if we have to do this to unless you focus on the issues which are not strictly on the purview of the health sector but beyond the purview of the health sector but control whether it is housing water supply sanitation nutrition all these make different without focusing on these the like kala azar you we have worked together in kala azar evaluation of kala azar kala azar treatment is one extremely very effective treatment is now available which was not there earlier band ho gaya kya acha to but you cannot eliminate kala azar unless we provide proper housing to the poor people why it is not political decision to provide proper housing we want to ensure that the housing is of such nature that the vector doesn't breed there that is the scientific basis वेक्टर कौन सा है वट इज द वेक्टर ऑफ दी कलाजर सैंड 
सैंड फ्लाई कहाँ रहती है तो ये डोंट ये यहाँ नहीं रहेगी सैंड फ्लाई यू डोंट ब्रीड हियर दिस इज अ कॉन्क्रीट वॉल प्लास्टर्ड वॉल देर विल बी नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ सैंड फ्लाई ब्रीडिंग हियर बट यू पी दिस हट विथ लॉट ऑफ डिवाइसेस इन इट दिस एंड फ्लाई लव दैट एटमोसफियर एंड दैट एनवायरमेंट सो द फैक्ट रिमेन्स दैट पब्लिक हेल्थ नीड्स टू कवर एरियाज विच आर बियॉन्ड कोर सेक्टर और कोर एरियाज ऑफ द हेल्थ दैट वी हैव टू अप्रिशिएट टू रीच दैट काइंड ऑफ एन कैपेसिटी फ्रॉम राइट बिलो बिलो आई मीन बिलो ब्लॉक लेवल राइट फ्रॉम विलेज लेवल अप टू द सेंट्रल लेवल in the administration to part and also from the people different congregations different structures that have come up in our country now look at the way how our governance and political structure social structure has come up basically from the health pers- perspective you will find and thanks to the wonderful people who had who were part of the committee called as the board committee that board committee gave the report which became foundation of our rural health उस कमेटी के रिपोर्ट्स का जो फाउंडेशन है वो आज भी उसी के ऊपर हम काम कर रहे हैं क्या है वो व्हाट इज दैट फाउंडेशन एट द मोस्ट पेरिफेरल लेवल देवर आफ्टर बोर्ड कमेटी वी हैव एडेड नाउ आशाज एज अ पार्ट ऑफ एनएचएम और एनआरएचएम बट इनिशियली इट वाज सब सेंटर्स प्राइमरी हेल्थ सेंटर देन कम्युनिटी हेल्थ सेंटर्स देन डिस्ट्रिक्ट हॉस्पिटल एंड मेडिकल कॉलेज दैट इज अ स्ट्रक्चर प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी टर्सरी that is the structure which led down that time and then we've made a progress my dear friends i wish to genuinely thank those wonderful and competent people who have considered ground realities of this country 70% what that time 80 85% population was rural 15% population was urban today situation is changing drastically do you know what is the population of urban population of maharashtra 50% tamilnadu maharashtra 50% urban population similarly every state including those state which are comparatively so called underdeveloped or so called economically weak they are progressing i was i was part of the institution in odisha for number of years i was located in bhuvaneswar odisha used to be a, a state where the urban population was quite low now odisha is progressing so much even chatisgarh so there is no state which will say nahi nahi hum log aage progress karenge nahi it's a it's a community social kind of development that pushes the entire uh, society so urbanization is one part which was not initially part of it but now we are improving upon whether from nrhm to nhm to nuhm so the considerations are now clearly indicating the felt need of the community and how do we respond another point we have to take into consideration when we got freedom i'm, I'm not asking question because if i ask this question you will say ki kya chal raha hai kya kaun se bhi prashna puch rahe hai so 75 years ke baad mein hum log ye puchhenge ki 1947 mein when india got freedom what was our लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी बाकी रेट की बात छोड़ देंगे लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी कितनी थी तीस बत्तीस साल आदमी जीता रहता था और उसके बाद में प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड चांसेस ऑफ इज डाइंग आर वेरी हाई वेर वेरी हाई अब हमारे पास हम भी बोलते हैं कि बहुत पुराने जमाने में हम लोग बहुत हट्टे कट्टे थे और बहुत सारे लोगों ने बहुत जिंदगी जीते थे स्वामी अब जो विश्वामित्र जी थे वो साठ हजार साल जी गए बट वो कितने सालों के पहले था मालूम नहीं हमें लेकिन एट द टाइम ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस इट वॉज थर्टी थर्टी टू थर्टी वन टूडे वट इज द लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी सॉरीमेल डिफरेंस लेट्स लाइक फीमेल विच इज द बेस्ट वन यू रिमेम्बर इन इंडिया फीमेल लिव मोर देन मेल्स कितना है नहीं नहीं सेवेंटी वन वी आर हैप्पी कि भाई सिक्सटी नाइन पॉइंट टू पर ईयर इज दी लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी ऑफ मेल एंड सेवेंटी प्लस कुछ सेवेंटी वन ईयर इज फॉर फीमेल कहा से कहा गए 
33, 31 से लेके 71, 72 तक पहुंच गए और भी आगे जाएंगे हमारी गाड़ी ये क्यों हुआ वट हैपन फाउंडेशन इज दैट प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर रिलेटेड फील्ड इज नॉट ओनली हेल्थ बट इट्स एग्रीकल्चर आउटपुट ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन कम अप इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हैज बीन बिल्ट अप लॉट ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल चेंजेस इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट हेज टेकन प्लेस इंडस्ट्रीज हैव कम अप and these are all last 75 years efforts it has not happened in one or two years it has taken 75 years and after 75 years we are we feel proud to be part of this entire plethora of development and at the same time if you look at sri lanka what is sri lanka's imr next door nation our baju ki country hai even though they have gone through a little turmoil few months back still that is one country which has done much better in public health than even our own india so i feel these countries are giving us an example ki that in spite of economic development may not be that high but their how i what is statistics indicators are as good as scandinavian countries their imr is less than nine tamil nadu one of our state kerala one of our states maharashtra one of our state are progressing in such a direction where you should be happy about it what i'm trying to indicate to you that capacity building is an exercise which is focused on development of knowledge skills commitment structures systems and leadership all these words please friends they are so important all these words are critical when you are going to think about capacity building we are saying oh, what is public health what is evaluation and how do we build the capacity so hopefully all of us are one that we are on the same platform let's go to the next slide evaluation in our country even though globally who says that there could be 20 uh, illnesses or diseases that can be eliminated as far as india is concerned we are now focusing on priority on these five diseases and the time limits have also been indicated malaria is supposed to be targeted for global elimination in 2030 we are coterminous with that 2030 is a year wherein what do we what we want to achieve by elimination what is our goal no indigenous transmission jis area mein let's take elimination as a state level to go so maharashtra mein agar hame malaria eliminate karna hai to we must ensure that no new cases occur in all the 36 districts of maharashtra now that is our goal and that we want to achieve and not only maharashtra every state every state means every district every district means every block every block means every village so that is the goal on the same lines our goal and target for lymphatic filariasis elimination is also 2030 kala azar was supposed to be 2023 but now we have pushed it that will be i mean uh, I, was, i was sharing my experience about kala azar uh, few years back i think it was 2019 2019 kala azar elimination program evaluation was carried out i was co chairing with dr late dr dharmashakti was in chair and we went to five states jharkhand west bengal uh, bihar up these are the states where the kala azar is having a problem and we came back and then uh, there was a pressure ki bhai we want to declare by 31st december 2019 kala azar eliminated so i said i'm sorry i will never agree with that uh, they said no 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 there is a pressure i said pressure or no pressure i am a scientist i am a public health person i can't give you lies agar nahi hai wahan capacity to nahi hai don't give false promises to those who desire to have those because of their own agenda i said nothing doing india some of the states are not built their capacity not competent enough to say that we have eliminated and we are likely to eliminate so now it is the goal is shifted little bit hopefully 
we will be able to do that in next few years at least definitely by 2030 that's our target leprosy leprosy is a wonderful story leprosy is a wonderful story malaria is also a wonderful story from public health perspective hi zamana where when we were young that malaria used to kill people absolutely number millions of people impacted and lakhs dying today fortunately the number of deaths in the entire country is hardly few dozens oh, deaths are not uh, deaths are few dozens cases are also comparatively so low that you start feeling ki ye sahi hai but that was the time earlier was the time where lakhs millions cases lakhs deaths then intervention started with ddt spray and the both incidence or morbidity and mortality came down to such an extent that there was euphoria ho gaya khatam malaria khatam so somebody said control kar usko eradicate kar diye so it was turned from control to eradicate and that eradication achieved the goals of eradication of malaria logist malaria logist chale gaye lekin malaria resurgence ho gaya malaria came back with vengeance and there were again the spurt so malaria is notorious as far as resurgence and again this ups and downs of malaria is very peculiar and that is the reason we have to be extremely cautious leprosy again leprosy incidence brought down less than 1 per 10000 throughout the country or most of the blocks in the country and then there was a situation where everybody said hey leprosy ka itna bada apparatus leprosy ke je technicians hai workers hai doctors hai institutions hai why should we have them integrate karo leprosy is no more a problem so we declared ourselves no more a problem and then came a situation where leprosy was seen even in the school children what does it indicate that either our efforts did not yield the result that we desire or we did not maintain them two things either we were not giving correct figures or we were hiding them or what happened the organisms were present resource was there which was in the community which the, we did not keep suppressed fashion got spur see please friend let us understand ye jo disease causing agents or organisms are, उनको बिल्कुल ही डर नहीं होता कि भाई बॉस ने बोल दिया है टॉप लेवल से बता दिया है ये नहीं है तो आप चुप बैठो ऐसे नहीं होता वायरस बैक्टीरिया पैरासाइट्स डू नॉट रिस्पेक्ट दी टॉप मोस्ट यू नो अथॉरिटी डायरेक्टिंग देन दैट दाउ शैल नॉट अपियर ये नहीं होता दे डोंट लिसन दे कंटिन्यू टू फॉलो द नेचुरल प्रोसेस एंड दैट इज द रीजन चाहे मर्जी आप कितना भी प्रेशर क्यों ना डालो कितना भी डायरेक्शन क्यों ना दो कितनी भी पब्लिसिटी क्यों ना करो ऑर्गेनिजम फॉलो देयर ओन नेचुरल कोर्स ऑफ यू नो और नेचुरल हिस्ट्री ऑफ द डिजीज सो प्लीज लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड फ्रेंड्स लेट अस ट्राई एंड कीप इन माइंड दैट वी डू नॉट वांट टू मेक द एफर्ट्स एंड देन लिव इट हाफ हार्ट दैट इज दैट इज द मेजर काइंड ऑफ एन मैसेज दैट वी नीड टू गो दैट इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इलिमिनेशन and this is where in every meeting i used to tell the secretaries and bureaucrats ki bhai dekho control ki baat ho rahi hai to thoda sa you know you can you can be slightly easy but the moment you think about elimination eliminating something elimination eradication ki baat hi nahi kar elimination is a very 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 serious issue a health secretary a health director cannot treat elimination program as a business as usual and those who treat are going to ensure that they fail if you are not going to keep total pressure total resource availability it is guaranteed that you will fail so elimination of a given disease is a serious business that message we must continuously ad nauseum give it to those who are expected to be leading the team that's why we have already seen so capacity kahan se shuru hoti hai capacity starts from the top level and goes right up to the peripheral most level up to asha or you can start with asha and go to the central level up to the both bureaucratic and political level so this is the message tuberculosis 2002 5 
Actually, the target for global elimination is 2035, WHO has given. I was present in the meeting when Honorable Prime Minister addressed the TB meeting and he said, no, no we will achieve this by 2025. Mere mention or mere wishful thinking is irrelevant. It doesn't happen, as I told you. Organisms don't respect anybody. <clears throat> However, this country is now providing a great example that if there is a political commitment from the topmost level, this program is being monitored by PMO. Please remember this. It's not the Prime Minister made a statement and then forgotten. That's the you know, why we feel happy about it. That Prime Minister shifted the goalpost or goal from 2035 to 2025, one decade earlier. Eradicating or even achieving eradication is going to be very difficult. But even if we achieve elimination part of this disease by 2025, we will be doing a fantastic job. And this wishful thinking is not, is not only the wishful thinking, but it is coupled with the resource availability, coupled with the you know administrative directions. Coupled, like recently, just few days back, there was announcement that we are adopting. Uh, everyone is appealed to adopt a TB patient for providing nutrition. Actually, I was yesterday in the Mumbai Municipal Corporation meeting, where uh, from that meeting only I came, took flight and came here. There were all the deputy municipal commissioners, there were all the um, uh, ward officers, uh, joint commissioners, and it was designed for building the capacity of Mumbai city for primary health care. But also this, po this part was introduced, that is TB control program, or TB elimination program, not control, TB elimination program. And the appeal made by uh, Government of India, by Ministry of Health and by uh, Prime Minister, that please, identify surveillance part, I'll take it forward. But every TB patient needs to be taken care of, not only by the public sector, but also by people providing nutrition. Nutrition plays a very significant role. Earlier, when TB, there was no specific drug of choice, curative drug. What was the treatment? If it was, you take, hilly area, hilly area, hilly area, food, khao. Today we have a drug of choice, specific drug, newer drugs are coming, which are 100% curative drugs. That's the beauty of it. That's the reason. And if you use that drug, use the surveillance, use the community's participation, we are bound to achieve success in tuberculosis. I'm very hopeful and optimistic. Next, please. So how do we do that? Next, next. Okay, so I think I will not spend more time on this. Go to the next slide, please. Malaria, we already uh, discussed about it. Yeah, how, what are the, you know, major criteria of malaria that we need to, or, or action points that are emerge as far as malaria elimination uh, programs base and what do, we, what do we want to achieve? Early diagnosis, please remember friends, this is the basic, those of, you, uh, those of us who were student like you, or earlier than that, uh, 1960, same, early diagnosis, prompt treatment. Basic principle of any disease control, elimination, early diagnosis, and radical treatment. It's not only the treatment, but radical treatment. I, I, I don't want to talk to the scientists who are sitting here, what is the importance of radical treatment. Early diagnosis, that means surveillance, that will take. Case-based surveillance, and it is not only if you do not treat the positive case of malaria within 72 hours with the radical, you know, treatment and radical treatment, you are making that case as a potential for transmitter for others. Say, you know, you are more expert than me. So, so the basically early diagnosis, radical treatment, case-based surveillance and rapid response, then integrated vector management. Please remember, vectors are quite intelligent and quite, uh, they are much These vectors know how to manipulate. 
they will get suppressed, but they will come back again. So we have to have not as I was told you के एक जमाना था DDT से पूरा का पूरा हमने खत्म कर दिया ऐसा लग रहा था कुछ कुछ नहीं हुआ वापस आए then came those newer drugs what is scientific pyrethroids synthetic pyrethroids and what not and what not but these vectors know how to go around it so the drug resistance like for the drugs as well as insecticide resistance so integrated vector management gives the way out of this. So you use biological methods, you use uh, insecticides, spray, use uh, L alliance. So these are all integrated approach. So it, that's what I say, IRS, L alliance, and larval source management, which out of all these, this is the most difficult part. Source, jaha breeding hota hai, and that is one of the major challenge that we are facing in our urban area now, not only for malaria, but particularly for dengue. Dengue has become a serious public health issue in many countries, many states, countries B. Delhi was notorious, na? you know it. Many outbreaks of dengue. Many outbreaks of dengue. It happened in Delhi, it happened right now. We have cases in Pune, we have cases in Mumbai. You name it, we have cases in Chennai, Kolkata. I saw Kansa share a case in Dingi. I saw Shar the cow, Pachaja Rupil, as a man of Skanto. Dingi, he has a whole in his. It's a man made problem. It started with urban area, now it is in the rural area also. All this requires a people's participation. That is the most critical. And behavioral change, that's the reason, or behavioral change communication necessarily does not result into positive, but that is the basis. Mumbai Municipal Corporation has levied fines from the localities like Malbar Hill, where a flat is not possible. You can't think Minimum 20-25 crore ka flat in that area. Kappar, Malbar Hill. ऐसे लोकेलिटीज के लोगों को मुंबई मिंसिपल कॉरपोरेशन ब्रीडिंग होता है इसलिए फाइन करती है। What does it indicate? Not necessarily that you have money and that you are so called educated will follow these principles. So BCC is a is a tool by which you reach the community. But I personally feel the last point should be use of legal measures. Health legislation is a very, very essential criteria as far as public health capacity building that I have not included, but I want to insist on that. Use of legislative or legal measures to achieve the goal in public health is a great tool. You need not use every time ki bhai nahi kar diya ki bhai police force laga do ya CBI laga do aur kuch ko ED laga do. Masku to ghar mein aaya aur ED aaya gaya aisa to bote jabardast mob rod ho jai ga. But the fact remains at this juncture use of legal measures like Mumbai Municipal Corporation is attempting builders. Construction sites is one of the known high risk areas and there it is not BCC. You know builders ke liye BCC kuch kaam ke nahi. Unko sab maalum hai ya breeding ho raha hai. Fine. You are Danda Dikha. So use of Danda, wherever it is needed as a last resort, unfortunately in health sector, in many areas, I'm going to slightly debate and how did we achieve success in last, not last, this pandemic, COVID, how did we achieve success? Can anyone try to put it in nutshell? India did a great job. Chahe Marji koi kahe na kahe, we should be proud of our achievement as far as COVID is concerned. Can anyone na just narrate, enumerate, why did India do better than so-called progressive rich countries in Europe, including even uh, on the US? Why did we do better? Immunization. Sorry? Immunization. Vaccination or immunization. Okay. First was First awareness. Sorry. Awareness, too. I think it's hygiene. Sorry? Hygiene. Hygiene, which I don't know, but uh, mask sanitizer, mask sanitizer. Anybody else? Lockdown. Lockdown. Anybody else? 
government strict measure on chalans and mask wearing government strict measure delivery system all these are contributory the major बॉस बेटे है ना ऊपर सन्माननीय नरेंद्र भाई मोदी जी प्राइम मिनिस्टर भाई प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन दिस प्रोग्राम इज द फाउंडेशन पीएमओ आई वाज पार्ट ऑफ द टास्क फोर्स इन पुणे और डिस्ट्रिक्ट कलेक्टर देवर पीएमओ को भेजना है शाम को जाना है माय ओन डायरेक्टोरेट ऑफ हेल्थ सर्विसेस दो का फिगर में कई थाउजेंड ऑफ केसेस में दो ओनली टू आकड़ा दो आकड़ा अरे कैसे हो गया ये दो कम क्यों कम है एवरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट कलेक्टर और डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैजिस्ट्रेट एवरी हेल्थ सेक्रेटरी एवरी चीफ सेक्रेटरी एवरी वन वॉज फोकसिंग ऑन दिस बिकॉज टीएमओ वॉज मॉनिटरिंग दिस सो द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट सक्सेस ऑफ कोविड इज द पोलिटिकल कमिटमेंट एंड ओनरशिप That it is being monitored. Two resource allocations. कभी जिंदगी में देखा नहीं था हमने. पुणे की मीटिंग में the finance minister and deputy chief minister of Maharashtra, Mr. Ajit Pawar, I was his advisor. All MLAs, MPs, all all IS officers, not less than twenty five commissioners, collectors, blah blah blah. Everybody sitting. And then we make a presentation. Sasun General Hospital me mortality jada hai, kam karni hai, kya karna hai? So Sasun ke dean aur ham sab log, Dr. Tambi my colleague, so we went on presenting ki kya kya karna. Decisions were taken on the spot, which had implications of crores of rupees. Now that would have never been possible. Ab routine course me ek post sanction karne ke liye aur पांच हजार रुपए के लिए हमको ये फाइल लगाओ उधर भागो उधर भेजो उधर करो और देयर डिसीजंस ऑन द स्पॉट वेर टेकन रिजल्टिंग इन ऑक्सीजन अवेलेबिलिटी द टैंकर्स वेर ब्रॉट फ्रॉम मध्य प्रदेश फ्रॉम गुजरात कहाँ कहाँ से कहाँ कहाँ भेज दिए करोड़ों रुपए खर्चे किए वो जो नए अस्पताल बनाए थे क्या उनको बोलते जम्बो हॉस्पिटल हंड्रेड ऑफ करोड़ वेर स्पेंड ऑन दो हॉस्पिटल हाउ डिड यू डू दैट the measures were taken by the decision makers to ensure that this public health emergency was tackled in addition to that there was a legal measure two acts consequence epidemic prevention epidemic prevention act disaster management kya weapon hai bhai sahab और ये एपिडेमिक प्रिवेंशन एक्ट 1890 1889 का एक्ट ब्रिटिशों ने हमारे खिलाफ इस्तेमाल कर दिया अभी भी उसमें हमने कुछ चेंज नहीं किए करना चाहिए अभी दैट इज इन अंडर द प्रोसेस बट दैट एक्ट गिव्स द फुल पावर टू द लोकल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टू द गवर्नमेंट 80 परसेंट बेड्स ऑफ प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल्स में रिजर्व सीओ को बोला कि बोल दिया अस्सी प्रतिशत बेड कोविड के लिए है फाइव स्टार हॉस्पिटल जहां पोर आदमी जाने का सवाल ही नहीं पैदा होता ऑल दिस फाइव स्टार फेलोज दे स्टूड इन लाइन बट दे आल्सो दे आल्सो कॉपरेटेड आई मीन प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल्स कॉपरेशन इन महाराष्ट्र सो स्पेक्टेकुलर एवरीथिंग दिस वाज अचीव्ड बिकॉज वन पीपल देमसेल्स अप्रिशिएटेड व्हाट यू आर सेड टू देर वाज अ पोलिटिकल कमिटमेंट एंड ओनरशिप एंड प्रेशर रिजल्ट ओरिएंटेड एक्शन एंड थ्री यूज ऑफ लॉ वेर एवर देर इज अ नीड so the last point i wanted to give you example to indicate success story of our country and that one of the reason is using the legal measures please uh, next please i already covered one hour i'll just take another 10 to 15 minutes but to the last slide please because i can i can uh, on each a uh, basic principles are same so i will try and finish Uh, in next 10 15 minutes and then i will encourage you to ask me question i was told by 12:30 we have to close it down so i will better request you to give me uh, ask me questions so that i will answer some of the questions which i feel i am competent to answer surveillance basic principle if you don't know that organism is there you will not be able to carry take actions about that so surveillance which has both the as far as clinical case surveillance environmental you know sampling and for that you have must have a lab capacity 
if you have a lab capacity at the district level or the state level, specialist lab wherever needed, surveillance will be incomplete unless you have adequate competency, adequate capacity, and lab capacity is the integral part of public health capacity development. Then comes the next point, interventions. What are the types of interventions? Vaccination. We said that if there is a vaccine available, how did we achieve the eradication of smallpox? Even though that time we had not that robust health system, but SST, I was part of the smallpox surveillance team. And that way I'm really blessed. As a young person, I was part of the smallpox surveillance team. I was the program officer for trachonculosis uh, eradication of Maharashtra. Then I was part of the IEAG, India International Expert Group on Polio. I still continue to be part of these various groups. So I feel that the vaccination has played a significant role in eradication of smallpox, even controlling right now the COVID. But for elimination, it is a combination of vaccination and and where drugs are available, curative part of it. That is where, like in TB, we are now very confident that we can cure TB. That is the beauty of this. Lymphatic pyrolysis, now we have quite strong drugs which can bring down the uh, rate of the filariasis to such an extent that it can be eliminated. Environmental control, which we discussed about, say, like vector control, ko karna hai, the environmental control becomes absolutely must. Without that, it can't be. Most important point is sustaining the efforts. Do not allow complacency. Le leprosy is a great example where we were complacent. There are many states and there are administrators who start feeling that leprosy to I have seen myself, I have witnessed some of the bureaucrats making this statement. This is no more a problem. Wind it up. Polio, there are people right now saying, Polio to hai nahi Hindustan mein. Ye kyu kar rahe Ask this question to yourself. There is not a single indigenous wild polio case in India from 2000. Kitne sa? 2011. Aaj bai se. 2011 se aaj Hindustan mein 11 saalo mein ek bhi wild polio case nahi hai. Then why are you spending millions of rupees? Or coming Sunday ko abhi uh, NID hai. Kyu kar rahe hai aap? Sustain it. It's not eradicated globally. There are wonderful friends, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Afghanistan. They are there, na? Nigeria. Nigeria. Nigeria has been reduced. But Pakistan, great friend. Jab tak wahan hai, tab tak everybody is vulnerable. So avoiding complacency. Then comes the health system. Do we have adequate human resource? Do we have adequate resources, etc., etc.? And it is not only the human resource. Are they competent? Have we built their cap capability and capacity? Then we will have to appreciate that this is all cost-benefit ratio. If you work it out, polio eradicate. If we have done it, then how much investment we have done up to past 10 billion dollars, we will be able to achieve a kind of a benefit. If we eliminate malaria, the amount of money that we are investing in elimination of malaria, the benefits to the country are going to be immense. So many times more than that investment. So treat that as investment. This is not money being wasted, but it is invested. So use cost benefit ratio for advocacy. Last two points, I already enough told you political commitment and ownership. Is case what you chalta nahi bhai. Agar Sanmaniya Mantri Mohde interested nahi hai or bureaucrat interested nahi hai, kitana bhi patko aap kuch jada nikalta nahi hai. So their commitment and ownership, it is also ownership. Without their ownership and holding, to be humko eliminate karna hai. See, our setup is like that, whether we like it or not. Jab change hoga tab dekhi hai. Up to a setup hai, to political commitment and ownership is obligatory and most essential criteria as far as public health is concerned. So building their capacity, advocacy with facts and figures and data-based, evidence-based. See, the bureaucrats and politicians don't get easily swayed by just like, no, no, sahab, kuch bhi karo, ye 
अपने देश के लिए बहुत अच्छा होगा तो वो भी जानते हैं अच्छा होगा लेकिन उसका कितना प्रॉब्लम जस्ट एक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एच वन एन वन इन्फ्लुएंजा इज राइट नाउ किलिंग बट इज स्टिल नॉट अ प्रायोरिटी प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज वी आर नॉट बीन एबल टू जेनरेट एविडेंस बेस्ड इन ऑफ डेटा जस्ट लास्ट वीक लास्ट वीक में एन आई वी एंड सी डी सी कंडक्टेड मीटिंग इन मुंबई अबाउट द कंट्रोल ऑफ दच वन एन वन और इन्फ्लुएंजा इन आवर कंट्री उसमें बेसिक रोना सबका यही था डेटा ही नहीं है और डेटा नहीं है तो कैसे आप कन्विंस करोगे ऑल लेवल पे स्टेट लेवल पे या नीति आयोग पे कहाँ करोगे दैट इज द इशू सो बेसिकली टू डेवलप पोलिटिकल कमिटमेंट एविडेंस नीड टू बी जनरेटेड एंड प्रेजेंटेड इन अप्रोप्रिएट फैशन एंड देन फाइनली विच वी ऑलवेज फिर गेट पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ पीपल सो लाइक पोलिटिकल पार्टिसिपेशन पीपल्स पार्टिसिपेशन इज द मोस्ट इसेंशियल क्राइटेरिया एज फार एज ट्राइंग टू अचीव द पब्लिक हेल्थ गोल सो फ्रेंड्स एज आई टोल्ड कि ऑडियंस इतना अच्छा है आप लोग साइंटिस्ट हैं और आपका और पब्लिक हेल्थ का इतना अच्छा क्या कहते हैं कनेक्शन होने की पॉसिबिलिटी है सो आई स्पेंड मोर देन आई वॉज थिंकिंग आई विल कवर इन फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स अगर आप चाहें तो फिर कभी आके आपको आई हैव टंस ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इंसिडेंटली आई ज्वाइन एज ए लेक्चर इन मेडिकल कॉलेज इन टेंथ एट्थ जनवरी नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री अभी आठ जनवरी को पचास साल हो जाएंगे तो पचास साल का एक्सपीरियंस कभी ना कभी तो निकल ही आता है ना <laughs> और जैसा द वे आई वॉज थिंकि वेदर इज स्मॉल पॉज गिनिवर पोलियो सार्स वो दिल्ली में मीटिंग्स होती थी तो देन हेल्थ मिनिस्टर मैडम बेचारे गुजर गए ग्रेट लेडी आई टेल यू देर आर फ्यू पीपल अबाउट हुम यू ऑलवेज फील रिस्पेक्ट सुषमा जी वॉज वन ऑफ देम द वे शी इज टू कंडक्ट मीटिंग आवर डी जी आई सेम ऑफ दैट टाइम ऑफ डॉक्टर गांगुली मजा आता था सो आई वर्क विथ हर एंड शी इज टू रिस्पेक्ट द टेक्निकल पीपल लिसन टू देम A politician who listens to the technical people is someone who succeeds. She was great, um, and the way she used to address, she used to talk. I, I always have great respect for that lady. So the point, the point is, these are the people who can become part of your advocacy towards the community. But people's participation, if it is not there, no disease can be eliminated. Thank you very much. thank you so much sir so now i uh, request yes <laughs> as uh, sorry saying uh, we can take some questions from here and we have some online uh, yeah yeah go ahead, go ahead go ahead so we ask them to type here i and i will uh, read these questions sure, yeah thank you sir for the wonderful journey i uh, just want to know uh, you said political commitment will and danda but how do you think that too much pressure is also counterproductive Yes. So, what is the optimum pressure, and how would you sustain? That is the beauty of public health leadership. कहाँ डंडा लगाना है और कब लगाना है और कितना लगाना ये तीन सवालों का ये ये अबे I am telling you अबे unnecessarily वो कुछ लोग होते हैं ना कि दिखते ही बट शुरू कर दो लाठी चार उसका फायदा नहीं होता even in police because my relatives are in police department senior level they are also taught and trained. कि हर जगह पे आप डंडा का इस्तेमाल मत करो पहले एडवोकेसी करो समझाओ उसके पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव वहां बता दो ठीक तरह से बातें करो और जहां जरूरी पड़े वहां सो सेम प्रिंसिपल इज इन पब्लिक हेल्थ वी नेवर हैड एन अपॉर्चुनिटी अपॉर्चुनिटी इन करेक्ट वर्ड वी देर वॉज नो ऑकेजन इन कोविड वेयर रियल डंडा वॉज नीड टू बी यूज आवर डिविजनल कमिश्नर मिस्टर राव Uh, he used to be there, and I used to take part as his technical advisor in all the meeting with the public, uh, private sector, private doctors, and it was enough for us to convince them with the facts, figures, and obviously central level, central government directive. But they knew very well that there is a danda available. Asi percent bed reserve करने या नहीं करने उसमें नहीं करेंगे मेरी nurse भाग गई मेरा doctor नहीं है ये मेरा machine बंद है ऐसा को ही बोला नहीं ऐसा बोलते तो तो वो वो उसको अंदर जाता था वो सिंपल सी बात थी उसको मालूम था नर्स नहीं है तो उनको लेके आ जाओ भाई दैट इज योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सो दैट यूज ऑफ लीगल मेजर्स 
is a last last and last resort but we see involvement of the our professional colleagues iap ima they, they are they are equally you know responsive they are responsible people they are interested in uh, national goals so danda wo rehta na hamare piche teen sumo apna emblem hai na apna wo abhi parliament ke upar bahut bada laga usme controversy bhi ho gayi वो जो चार लायन है वो बस देखते रहना है उनको देखने के बाद में बहुत कुछ काम होता है उनको नीचे लाने की जरूरत नहीं होती यस थैंक यू सर फॉर वंडरफुल जर्नी एंड वंडरफुल एक्सप्लेनेशन आई नो सर यू बिकॉज यू आर देयर आल्सो द चेयरमैन ऑफ दैट जॉइंट एंड आल्सो यू आर एक्टिवली पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस बी Very good. This is a very important and technical question. Number one, as you have rightly stated, earlier NSP and the proposed NSP, which is actually the NMEP, is under the process of developing yes. the NSP yes. 2020. And in that, all these points are getting reflected. We have lot of meetings of our core group. Uh, the surveillance part is being redesigned. Also, as far as we are concerned, it's no more control. It's elimination. and hence it is definitely not going to get restricted to only district level but will go down to the block level and below and it will be a dynamic process it is not going to be a static kind of an approach it will be dynamic approach it will also shift from state to state take a classic example of maharashtra maharashtra we are reviewing the maharashtra situation it is simple just just a few days back right now in maharashtra we have malaria cases only seen in two parts of maharashtra two districts or two geographical area rest there are now entire marathwada practically entire vidarbha majority western maharashtra zero cases zero deaths I mean, to such an extent but the gadcharoli 60% cases of malaria now concentrated in gadcharoli and wonderful city of mine mumbai and mmr region so mmr mumbai thane Mumbai metropolitan region and Gadchiroli. These are the two major contributors as far as malaria is concerned. So, if you look at malaria situation in Maharashtra, one is predominantly tribal, other was predominantly urban. It really indicates that we cannot have only focus on rural or only urban, but area specific is going to be the hallmark of our future national strategy plan. Okay, so we have uh, can see Dr. Abdesh Kumar from he was with us. Okay, can we give the access to Dr. Abdesh, please? Yes, Dr. Abdesh. Abdesh ji, namaskar. Dr. Abdesh, can you hear us? You are muted. Sir, namaskar. नमस्कार नमस्कार जी कैसे हैं आप मैं बढ़िया हूं आ, सर आप कैसे हैं हां जी हां सर वेरी रिफ्रेशिंग टू हियर यू सर 
I have two specific things, sir, to just to, I'm not sure if these are questions. I don't think these are questions because we actually can't ask I mean, questions to you. Yes. Why not? <laughs> sir, I'm learning from everyone. You are, you know program more than me. So you are most welcome, sir. Sir, so the first thing is because it's, uh, because the smallpox was eradicated in 1977. So what is the change, sir? Because you were also part of the smallpox eradication True. activities in the country. So what is the change, sir, which you have observed during the last 40 or 45 years in the capacity building in public health, sir? So that is the one. Uh, the second question is, sir, Elimination of almost all diseases uh, is an intersectoral approach. Almost all diseases. Sir. And usually intersectoral capacity building is, is not given that focus. True. So how to do that, sir? So these but, are two. Yeah. Things, sir. Yeah. Uh, I will try to respond to you, both these questions. And both are so uh, broad based and so factual one. Uh, Avdeji, Avdeji, I have... I have seen development of public health in this country right from 1973. And as you have very rightly stated, I was part of the SST, smallpox surveillance team in 1975-76. So from that time onwards, if you see the journey of our country in public health, I find as far as human resources are concerned, we have made a lot of progress in having adequately trained human resource uh, at all levels. I'm so delighted and I always feel very happy to be part of this entire thing. The NHM, NRHM, yeah. NRHM core team. I was, you know, when Mr. Wota was the health secretary, there was an expert group and I was part of that. That NRHM ultimately resulted into, you know, creation of this ASHA cadre. This ASHA cadre earlier in Maharashtra, Maharashtra we did a lot of, you know, pioneering work like before ASHA and CHVs, we started in Maharashtra in a tribal area, Pada, Swayam, Sevak. These were the individuals focused only on surveillance at the Padas. You know, Padas are the small hamlets of a village in a tribal area. Village se bhi niche. Jaha 500, 200, gangster leke, usko humne train kiya tha. And they were very useful for water sanitation or surveillance. And they were quite useful. But as learning from that, Asha's you know, this, this kind of an cadre was created. And that ASHA is now absolutely a backbone of the health system of this country. 900,000 women are giving a great service to this country. So on one hand, from smallpox eradication program, we have seen the public health resources in the human budgetary allocations have gone up. But the fact remains that the smallpox or initially malaria days were very disciplined force i can guarantee you friends some of you were not born when the malaria used to be like military these operations of people going into field taking the slides you know, ensuring these insecticide spraying surveillance beautifully done so whether it is smallpox whether it is malaria that vertical programs disciplined approach of pushing has we have we could not maintain them integrated development that has taken place has really taken away mm -hmm. some of these positive things how to integrate that back is a great challenge this is this is what i personally feel and uh, the second question you asked that was Inter, as far as intersectoral coordination, intersectoral capacity building, sir. Intersectoral capacity, Avdeji, this is one area where, which is the most slippery area. I made uh, poor attempts in Maharashtra where, you know, the intersectoral may basic kya hota hai, aap bhi aao, hum bhi aaye, to baki department ka kena, aap pehle mere paas aajau. In intersectoral coordination, everybody expect you to come and, you know, work with them, help them, and then we'll think about it. So the capacity building is going to be a bilateral activity. For example, we attempted in Maharashtra about irrigation department's involvement in malaria control. During, that means vector control, because wherever irrigation department started their work, there was a problem. 
suddenly vector you know because larval incidents resulting into more vectors migration of the people who were coming from areas to work there and that's where irrigation department really helped us there is a committee constituted under chairmanship of the chief secretary which really helped us but to ensure that chief secretary gives time to this committee itself was a great kind of a task but we could do that also this is one area intersectoral capacity building is a job that needs to be taken by health as a leadership and ensure that you go on pursuing our partners but fortunately in last few years wcd you know mahila bal kalyan then rural development department tribal development department i'm giving these examples from both the states odisha i'm working and also in maharashtra so these departments are coming together and we are greatly impressed and uh, you know we were thankful to the partners like uh, unicef gates foundation these are the people who play a role in this so availability of the partners can definitely be useful for developing intersectoral capacity intersectoral coordination capacity oh. right sir thank you very much sir right pleasure sir to speak to you avdesh ji aur hum log gaye the north east mein you remember those days oh yes sir <laughs> thank you sir, thank you sir for joining this lecture very happy to see you thanks, thanks dr manju and dr sachin as well thank you sir thank you सर आपको बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद और बड़ा अच्छा लगा शायद पहला एक्सपीरियंस है पब्लिक हेल्थ के लोगों से मिलने हम तो बेसिकली लेबोरेटरी में काम करते हैं पर मुझे एक छोटा सा अनुभव हुआ था सर वेक्टर सर्विलेंस का तो मेरे एक ओपिनियन है शायद आप सहमत होंगे मुझे एक प्रोजेक्ट मिला था सर्विलेंस का बरेली में तो जैसे कि वैक्टर बायोलॉजी में वैक्टर सर्विलेंस के लिए एक बड़ी प्रॉब्लम भी है और ये तीन चार महीने की होती है सीजनल ज्यादा होता है तो मेरा कहने का मतलब है जैसे कि हमें प्रोजेक्ट मिला तो हमारी टीम तैयार करते हैं बरेली जाएगी दस दिन रुकेगी सर्विलेंस करके आए तो एक बड़ा मतलब खर्चा भी बहुत होता है तो, तो मैं कभी कभी सोचता था क्यों नहीं हम ट्रेनिंग सेंटर प्रोफेशनल डेवलप जैसे आईटीआई वाले लोग होते हैं बिल्कुल तो वो वहीं पे बरेली और यूपी में कुछ पोटेंशियल जगह पे ऐसे सारे इंडिया में वो लोग चार पांच जैसे ट्यूबर क्लोसिस अलग अलग इसके लिए कोई माइक्रोस्कोपी होता है ऐसे बैक्टर बायोलॉजी एंटोलॉजिस्ट कम हो रहे हैं तो हम इतना तो खर्चा करके वो एक प्रोफेशनल यूनिट्स बना दे जैसे आईटीआई आई सेंटर जो होते हैं तो शायद हमारा बहुत सारा समय भी बच सकता है और आई थिंक वो हमसे भी अच्छा करेंगे अगर उनको ट्रेनिंग दे दी जाए तो तो मैं ये अपना विचार रख रहा हूँ तो नहीं नहीं यही इस, इसी बात को हमने पांडिचेरी की अपनी जो सी में उनके डायरेक्टर साहब के साथ में हमने यही कहा और डी साहब को भी एक मीटिंग में बताया कि आज वीसीआरसी आपकी इंस्टीट्यूट यहाँ की ये सब इंस्टीट्यूशन का फायदा हर स्टेट को हो बिल्कुल इन दीज स्टेट वॉट एवर आईसीएमआर के इंस्टीट्यूट हो या स्टेट के हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन महाराष्ट्र वे आव इंस्टीट्यूट इन नागपुर पब्लिक हेल्थ इंस्टीट्यूट पी एच आई अभी उसको नॉम एन क्लेचर उसका बदल गया लेकिन इट इज डेडिकेटेड इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग एंड ट्रेनिंग सो आई पर्सनली फील अगर हर स्टेट में नहीं हो तो हर रीजन में दी कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग करने के लिए एक तो पहले ट्रेनर्स ट्रेनिंग हो दैट मीन यू नीड नॉट गो एंड स्टे देयर परमानेंटली स्टेट की जिम्मेदारी है कि उन्होंने आइडेंटिफाई करो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वहां का एचआर आइडेंटिफाई करो आप उनको ट्रेन करो और और जाके उनको गाइडेंस देते रहिए यही यही चीज बोथ सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के लेवल पे आईसीएमआर के लेवल पे और स्टेट लेवल पे प्लान करनी चाहिए कि भाई छत्तीसगढ़ में हम क्या कर सकते हैं वहां के कौन से इंस्टीट्यूशन है जिसकी हम कपैसिटी यू डोंट हैव टू इन्वेस्ट फॉर री इन्वेंटिंग दिल कर दो वहां जाके लेकिन उस किसी ने तो भी इनिशिएटिव लेना है ना यही सर यही प्रॉब्लम यही प्रॉब्लम है अभी हम प्रोजेक्ट में हायर करते हैं वो छोड़ के चले जाएंगे छोड़ के तो ये हमें स्टेट की कैपेसिटी अगर आप करेंगे बिल्ड तो वो परपेचुअल और सस्टेन्ड एफर्ट रहेगा सर मैं आपके माध्यम से आवाज पहुंचाना चाहता हूँ बिल्कुल आप बिल्कुल मेरा माध्यम का इस्तेमाल कर दीजिए मैं तो नीति आयोग के विनोद पाल साहब है उनको भी बोलता हूँ डीजीआई से हमार को भी बोलता हूँ मुझे बोलने में कोई कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है और मैं रिटायर होने के बाद में अब तो मैं काफी स्टेट फॉरवर्ड बन गया इसके पहले भी था ज्यादा बना हुआ सर मैं भी सपोर्ट कर सकता हूँ थैंक यू थैंक यू मुझे लगता है आज इस देश में व्हाट इज मोर इंपोर्टेंट कि हम जो फैक्ट एविडेंस बेस्ड है वो बोल दो है और बता दे के क्योंकि आजकल आजकल नहीं इसके पहले भी था वो एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज बेल का दूध का अप्रोच 
वट इज बैल का दूध का अप्रोच बैल का दूध का अप्रोच ये होता है कि बॉस ने बोल दिया बैल दूध देता है ये ने बोले साहब अभी उसका चाय बने के लिए तो ये बैल का दूध का अप्रोच बंद कर दो बॉस के बैल दूध देता नहीं बैल दूध देता नहीं ये कहने की ताकत हिम्मत करो और उसके लिए बेस एविडेंस रखो साइंटिफिक बेस रखो ऐसा नहीं कि वो बोल रहे हैं उसको ऑब्जेक्ट करना है जी नहीं यू कम आउट विद द एविडेंस यू से कि नहीं सर काला आजार 2019 में इलिमिनेट करने की कैपेसिटी इंडिया में थी नहीं आई से डाउन राइट उनको अच्छा लगे बुरा लगे आप क्या करें सो आई थिंक एज अ साइंटिस्ट एज अ टेक्निकल पर्सन एज अ वेदर यू नो यू नो द योर सब्जेक्ट वेल एंड देन यू से दैट आई एम स्पीकिंग because there is evidence because there is a scientific basis and what you are saying sir is not in tune with the both but they didn't like it or not you say it so anyway i'll go on i use every platform like public health cadre is my most favorite subject i go on speaking on that in every platform is desh mein public health ki progress na hone ka ek mahatvapurna karan hai we have no dedicated public health public health management cadre take classical example of tamil nadu last one mm, yeah. right now odisha they did a great job maharashtra we did comparatively good job up to district level not below district level unless you have a dedicated public health public health management cadre we will never reach the desired goal so i want speaking this fairly bluntly fairly straight forwardly on every platform kaun sa bhi ho abhi bhi maine bol diya <laughs> so so in 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 continuation there is a question in 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 the prevailing situations are we able to eliminate malaria by 2030 as far as national strategic plan based upon our evaluation of the program which we did it aur kafi ek saal se us pe kaam kar rahe hain usse abhi nsp nikal aa raha hai if government of india and the state governments start implementing that nsp with due earnestness and ensuring all those points which i said about the political commitment resource availability proper monitoring surveillance we will if we don't do that to kya fir 2030 ka 2050 tak bhi ja sakta hai yani dekhiye goal rakha hua hai and that goal is not a simple goal it's a elimination goal two it is declared by not less than a prime minister if the government of india state governments and its you know functionaries are not going to respect and give value to the declaration of the prime minister it kuch bhi ho sakta hai but if we look at see we as a scientist public health people must show the way ultimately as audesh jiwa singh is intersectoral if the health minister if the chief minister if the chief secretary are not going to take it seriously kya kar sakte hain magar agar unhone seriously liya to kaise karna hai ये टेक्निकल हमारे जो एक्सपर्टीज है वो हमने दी है एनएसपी बनाया है अभी यानी प्रोग्राम बना रहा है एंड आई फुल्ली एंडोर्स एंड सपोर्ट द इंथ्यूजियाजम एंड ओनरशिप ऑफ द नेशनल वेक्टोबोन डिजीज प्रोग्राम राइट नाउ डॉक्टर अग्रवाल सी इज द चीफ ऑफ द प्रोग्राम एंड आई हैव इंटरक्टेड विथ हर ऑन नंबर ऑफ ऑकेजन एंड आई एम इम्प्रेस द कमिटमेंट दैट लेडी इज शोइंग and she supported by wh and others so ho sakta hai usme doubt rakhne ki zarurat nahi hai agar nahi kiya humne 2030 tak so it will be a shame great shame are uh, as a indian i'll feel very ashamed ki hamare paas tools hai strategy hai commitment hai resources agar diye nahi to that will be bad resources hai agar charo cheeze hone ke baad mein 2030 tak kyun nahi karenge पक्का करेंगे नहीं कर दिया तो हम सब लोगों को बिल्कुल खुद को पनिशमेंट लेनी पड़ेगी विल डू दैट आई एम श्योर अबाउट इट सर आई है कनेक्टेड क्वेश्चन एंड टू थ्री अदर क्वेश्चंस बट पिकिंग अप फ्रॉम द लास्ट थ्रेड व्हिच यू सेड दैट वी हैव द गोल वी हैव द इफेक्टिव टूल्स वी हैव द विल पावर वी हैव द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इन प्लेस हाउ टू डू इट बट सर माई एक्सपीरियंस आई रिटर्न इट डाउन आई थॉट आई नॉट टॉक अबाउट इट बट नाउ यू रिग्ड इट अप In Kerala, as of 2015, was the goal of elimination earlier. Same for lymphatic filariasis and leprosy. We have seen it. We have a history of shifting our goalpost in these infectious diseases because we have been unable to do them for whatever reason in the past. So for malaria, yes, we have everything effective at the moment. But do you think we can go that pathway if things don't go the way we wish? 
currently also 2021 1.6 lakh cases of malaria are there in the country reported by the government my related question sir is we are ignoring especially for malaria the cases being presented in the private sector which are going unaccounted for how will the national program look at them accounting them in the national figures is little in gray zone for me personally as a researcher and sir you have spoken on the forum of world malaria day and previously also so how do we align private sector taking the numbers in a fold addressing those number of cases and then saying okay now we have achieved malaria elimination because the elimination goal is zero case as compared to kalazar and lf where the case where the elimination goal is less than one case mm -hmm. per 10000 correct here the goal is a little different it is zero case so how do we do that private sector alignment to us and i feel it's not only danda which will work we need to take them as partners with sure. us absolutely. with their total cooperation commitment willingly absolutely and i'm i'm sure they are all educated doctors or the health care community they will be willing to come to you know come together in this particular goal so that is my one question of shifting uh, our elimination goals and private sector involvement my another point which is a larger philosophical discussion about you said about uh, vert vertical programs and making them horizontal making a, it makes us lose the focus of those programs and then the problem of resurgence so i also feel that same way but seeing the uh, population size of a country limited resources integration and most optimum utilization of resources is one one another aim for us so a program a disease which has been eliminated pumping our resources into it versus other competing interest there has to be a balance somewhere but there has to be a very serious discussion on horizontalization of resources and programs vis a vis utility of vertical programs i am also a big fan of vertical programs it gives lot of focus to that particular disease but sir again that needs a very serious discussion on it as as you said discussion on public health cadres and capacity building so these are very lingering public health issues uh, which should not be restricted to you know or uh, these kind of discussions but taken to the highest level sir uh, manju ji uh, the आपने जे तीन सवाल पूछे ये तीन वर्कशॉप का विषय है हर एक विषय है इतना यू नो क्वाइट ब्रॉड बेस्ड एंड लॉट ऑफ यू नो एंगल्स आर देयर यू नो वी हैव टू गो इनटू ईच कंपोनेंट ऑफ दैट बट इफ यू लुक एट दी आई विल टेक वन बाय वन एंड लिमिटेड जो भी मेरा एक्सपीरियंस है उससे आई विल गिव द कॉमेंट्स मगर उसको थोड़ा समय लगेगा आई एम श्योर सम ऑफ योर कलीग विल नॉट बी वेरी हैप्पी अबाउट इट क्योंकि काफी डिस्कशन हो चुका है लेकिन लेट मी ट्राई एंड कवर वेरी क्विकली as much as possible as far as private sector is concerned let us stand understand friends private sector is not enemy of public sector or public sector is not enemy of private sector that concept needs to be totally removed they are not neither they are enemies nor they are competitors there is a kind of a synergy there has to be support and we have seen that happening in many cases whether it is covid whether it is earlier even in the tuberculosis so their participation because they are all our colleagues and they are equal partners but only thing is we have to work out see ultimately public sector leadership must design the framework see you can't expect a private practitioner private hospital to come out and say ki mai aapko bata do mai kya karunga we have to prepare a framework if you prepare a framework and clearly indicate to them ki bhai sahab आपको ये करना है इस प्रोग्राम में आपका ये रोल है हम आपको ये मदद करेंगे इफ यू प्रिपेयर अ प्रोग्राम वेर इन द प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल और प्राइवेट डॉक्टर हैज टू स्पेंड 35 मिनट्स फॉर ईच केस टू राइट द हिस्ट्री किसने बोला यार उसमें दो पेशेंट देखेंगे मेरा पांच सौ रुपए का नुकसान कर दिया सो ये नहीं होने वाला सो यूज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी मिनिमम उनके ऊपर प्रेशर डालेंगे तो दो दे डेफिनेटली कॉपरेट एंड से द डंडा इज नीडेड बट that's a very minuscule percentage of the people who may how to be used 99.99% people come along as their social responsibility yes. so i am sure about it as far as your first question is concerned ki hamara pehle bole 2015 mein karenge elimination fir bole 2019 mein karenge a disease or a condition which was you know which was a goal was fixed a target was fixed for a particular period and we did not achieve and shifted it 
I personally feel one, those who designed that goal, they did not pay much attention to the ground realities. Absolutely. Two, those who designed the goal, but those who were supposed to follow it up, they were not interested. Or there is no communication, there is no commitment. Agar India apni commitment deti hai ki do hajar tis ko hamko ye karna hai, to it's India's national commitment. I mean, we are talking elimination of malaria from this country. And if the private sector is not reporting, which is classical case where there is no system to get the report from them. If we fail to design that reporting system development, it's our fault. But in spite of designing, if they don't report, then that is their fault. The point that I'm trying to say is that a national commitment made at the highest level, if it is not respected, it's a shame to the country. And what happened in the past is because at all levels, whether it is government of India, whether it is state government, whether it is the local administration, I all three of them failed. It was a failure on the part of all three of them to ensure that we reach that goal. I know as a part of the government, I have spent 35 years in the government. If government takes it to heart and if there is the highest level involvement, we achieve the goal. If we fail, that means one of, one of the level there is a failure. And that is, there is no further, there is no need for technical in, uh, in discussion or further discussion. First, you want to eliminate something as a disease, our job as a scientist, technical people is to properly define that, design it, go to the level of the bureaucrats, from there go to the level of decision making at the political level, convince them this is possible. And if they are convinced and if we are sound in designing, defining the goals, understanding our strength, weaknesses, and what additionality is needed, and then we present, they agree. What business, either they or us, how to fail? We have no business to fail. And if we have failed in the past, there is a failure. I mean, without mincing words, without being, I mean, not without, being impolite sounding, I personally feel earlier commitment to the elimination goals was a total failure at all levels. We can't say uh, it was failure of ASHA or it was failure of ex-medical officer or ex-director, ex-health secretary. No, it's a total failure of the entire country's uh, governance and management. Let's not blame who, entire country, entire governance of this country. So maybe we need to be more realistic what we can achieve. Yeah, well, that's the reason our job is to prepare a goal which is achievable. Achieve. But achievable goal means we can we can't just say हम कुछ नहीं कर सकते छोड़ दीजिए ऐसा भी नहीं है ना हमें ये reach करना है तो कैसे करना है कहाँ तक जाना है उसके लिए resources क्या चाहिए human resources कितने चाहिए lab resources कितने चाहिए funds कितने चाहिए technology क्या है बाकी sectors कैसी involvement होगी और we need to have people with the full kind of commitment enthusiasm for a sufficient period और मान लीजिए कि मैं आपने मुझे ये target दिया कि मलेरिया एलिमिनेशन करने के लिए यू आर सपोज टू एंड यू चेंज मी इन सिक्स मंथ्स क्या करूंगा गिव मी सफिशिएंट टाइम एंश्योर दैट आई एम कॉम्पिटेंट टू डू दैट गिव मी ए सफिशिएंट पावर्स एंपावर मी एंड इफ आई एम नॉट गेटिंग प्रॉपर रिजल्ट्स हैव एन अपॉर्चुनिटी सो दैट आई कैन स्पीक टू डायरेक्टली हाईएस्ट लेवल एंड से कि सर आपने एज अ नेशन ये दिया है गोल ये नहीं हो रहा है इसके लिए ये लोग जिम्मेदार है या ये चीजें जिम्मेदार है करो I, I had uh, a teacher in medical college, Professor Sate. He used to, um, I was his lecturer eventually, then reader, then he became DMR, I became DHS this side. He taught us me a simple thing. He used to conduct meeting like this. Bhai, ye target hai, ye hamko karna hai. Then he used to say, ye aapko karna hai, ye aapko karna hai. Are you, do you agree? He used to find out, ki, yes, you are competent. Are you competent? Yeah, we got preparatory meeting. Our is beautiful, hoti thi, and full democratic meeting. He was not giving the responsibility to an incompetent person. He may be incompetent on this side, but on competent on that side. We are sab distribute hone ke baad mein kab tak karna hai? X date. Uske baad mein ek middle date hoti thi, aur uske in between these three dates, he never used to ask. Our job was to go and tell him if we, agar is samay tak hum nahi kar paaye. So it was my task to go and talk to him and say, 
और इसमें आपकी ये मदद की जरूरत है इज नॉट दैट एट द एंड सर नहीं हुआ क्यों नहीं हुआ क्या करूँ मेरी बीवी ठीक नहीं थी मुझे गांव जाना पड़ा नथिंग डूइंग गांव जाके आ जाओ कुछ भी करो अगर जाना है बहुत जरूरी इमरजेंसी है तो पहले आके बोलो अल्टरनेटिव ढूंढ के लेके आ जाओ अनलेस यू हैव यू नो लाइक आर्मी और डिफेंस में ऐसा थोड़े होता है कि भाई आपको सियाचिन जाना है तो जाऊंगा जब देखूंगा तो ऐसे थोड़े होते हैं ऐसे नहीं होता ना कि आपके दिमाग में आया तो जाओ नहीं आया तो छोड़ो घर पे जाके टीवी देखो बीवी के साथ में ऐसे नहीं अलाउड करते आर्मी में सो दैट पोलिटिकल प्रोग्राम की जो डिसिप्लिन है वील हाउ टू ब्रिंग इट वैसे वी आर नॉट ऑल टॉकिंग अबाउट इलिमिनेशन आई एम वेरी कन्विंस्ड इलिमिनेशन जो टर्म मैंने आपको पहले बता दी ये सीरियस है दिस टर्म मस्ट बी टेकन सीरियसली फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम और उसके लिए जो भी लगने वाली चीजें है अगर हम नहीं करेंगे तो वी आर मेकिंग जो काउंट ऑफ ना इंटरनेशनल कम्युनिटी विल स्टार्ट लाफिंग एट एस वहां दो हजार दस को करने का था दो हजार पंद्रह को गए फिर बीस को गए तीस को गए चलने दीजिए ये क्यों मजाक क्यों बढ़ा रहे देश का तो एलिमिनेट हाँ? नहीं नहीं ये देश का मजाक अगर हम खुद बनाना चाहेंगे तो ये करेंगे अगर मजाक सी टूडे इंटरनेशनल कम्युनिटी रिस्पेक्ट अस बिकॉज वी मीन बिजनेस वी डू समथिंग विद इन अ स्पेसिफाइड पीरियड एंड दैट स्पेसिफाइड पीरियड इज नॉट ओनली ऑन डिफेंस नॉट ओनली ऑन अदर डेवलपमेंट सेक्टर इट्स वेरी मच फॉर द हेल्थ इलिमिनेशन इज एग्जैक्टली लाइक अ डिफेंस ऑपरेशन Sir, on the same lines, what will be your message for the researchers in this room and offline? Uh, how researchers should do their bit of contribution towards this elimination? I will end this, but I can go on and go. My dear friends, you are young. Chai mar jab ko umar kitni bhi ho, young hote. I I can say I'm seventy five. I consider myself young. Public health me me abhi bhi sikhne ki utayar ho. So irrespective of age, you are young in public health. and please try and find out what are your strength you are a researcher you have a strength broader public health goal mein aap kahan contribute kar sakte ho where you can and be proactive on that talk to your director talk to your dg whoever ki that i personally feel in these areas this is where i think there is the gap this is where my knowledge and skills can be useful chahe usme writing mein ho chahe operations mein ho field mein jao जो जो प्रैक्टिसिंग एरिया होते हैं रूरल प्रैक्टिसिंग एरिया हो या जो भी कुछ डेमोन्स्ट्रेट दैट योर इंटरवेंशन इज गोइंग टू बी यूजफुल नंबर टू और अदर फर्स्ट वन इज अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द गोल ऑफ आवर कंट्री फ्रॉम द पब्लिक हेल्थ पर्सपेक्टिव हाउ मेनी ऑफ योर रेड एनएचपी टू नेशनल हेल्थ पॉलिसी दो किसने पढ़ी है या तो मालूम है क्या जितने भी लोग यहाँ बैठे और सुन रहे हैं जिस जिसने 2017 की एनएचपी का डॉक्यूमेंट देखा नहीं उनको मैं अर्नेस्टली अपील करूंगा प्लीज गो थ्रू इट प्लीज रीड इट फाइंड आउट विच आर द एरिया वेर यू थिंक यू डोंट एग्री डर चाहे मर्जी दो नेशनल पॉलिसी में क्या मॉडिफाई हम कर नहीं सकते क्या कर सकते हैं लेकिन देखो तो सही हिंदुस्तान ने या कंट्री ने 2017 के पॉलिसी में कब तक क्या करने का सोचा है लोगों के लिए आखिरी तक कहा सर्विसेज जाएंगे कैसे जाएंगे उसमें क्या हम कुछ कंट्रीब्यूट कर सकते फर्स्ट बेसिक डॉक्यूमेंट्स वो देख लीजिए और उसके बाद में सोचिए लेकिन देर इज इमेंस को माय डियर फ्रेंड्स पब्लिक हेल्थ इज अ ग्रेट एडिक्टिव फैक्टर आई एम एडिक्टेड टू द पब्लिक हेल्थ इट्स ग्रेट एडिक्शन You always feel it is स्वार्थ एंड परमार्थ आई ऑलवेज फील कि हम लोग जब कोई कहता है ना कि भाई मैं तो बस लोगों के लिए ही करता हूं मुझे कोई स्वार्थ नहीं है बिल्कुल जोड़ बोलता है जितने लोग बोलते हैं हम निस्वार्थी है और केवल हम खुद के लिए और केवल हम देश के लिए गरीबों के लिए यार अभी इस, इस देश में दो टर्म्स का बहुत इस्तेमाल होता है एक गरीब और दूसरा किसान मैं खुद किसान हूं गरीब किसान नहीं हूं <laughs> बिल्कुल नहीं हूं तो स्वार्थ और परमार्थ का सबसे बढ़िया मार्ग आपकी जो स्पेशलिटी है उसमें से आ सकता है आई एम डूइंग इट यू कैन डू इट इसके लिए जरूरी नहीं है कि आपको बहुत ऊपर पोजीशन पे रहना है आई थिंक दैट्स माय मैसेज एज आई टोल्ड यू अच्छा लगता है लोग रिस्पांस देते हैं तो बात करना है केवल पोलिटिशियन की बीमारी ऐसे नहीं है हमारी भी बीमारी होती है थैंक यू वेरी मच यस
is there a provision of systematic evaluation of the health data? Health? You are uh, saying that each and everything should be evidence based. So, is there any provision of systematic evaluation of these evidence which are generated? Sure. Yes. That is the reason Abhi Jo National Program ki evaluation ora hai. Abhi Hamne Malaria ka kya iske pere Kalajar ka. Is there annual evaluation? Yes. Every program has a process of annual, it may not be evaluation, but annual assessment of performance. And it is not only national level, it is at the state level, district level. It is expected. Ab karte nahi hai, to we can't help it. If we, as you said, that there is no Malaria. Yeah. So we, we should think that there is no, no, there is malaria. Not there is malaria. There is malaria. Malaria is malaria. Why else are we all? Some cases are not there. I need not be personal. Yesterday, my wife was sick. I mean, my own son has developed malaria. Why else are we all? Some cases are not there. I mean, I need not be personal. Yesterday, my wife was sick. I mean, my own son has developed malaria. Why else are we all? Some cases are not there. I mean, I need not be personal. Yesterday, my wife was sick. I mean, my own son has developed malaria. Why else are we all? Some cases are not there. I mean, I need not be personal. Yesterday, my wife was sick. I mean, my own son has developed malaria. Why else are we all? Some cases are not there. I mean, I need not be personal. Yesterday, my wife was sick. तो मलेरिया नहीं है मुंबई में ऐसा तो मैं नहीं बोल सकता खुद का सन का रिपोर्ट मेरे पास में है और दैट आई स्पोक टू द चीफ हेल्थ ऑफिसर ऑफ मुंबई म्यूनसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन स्टडी इट और उनकी टीम भी आई थी सो मलेरिया है द पॉइंट इज सी दिस इज दी कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग एट ऑल लेवल्स की आई एज अ चीफ ऑफ द डिस्ट्रिक्ट चीफ ऑफ द स्टेट आई मस्ट नो हाउ टू इवेल्युएट एंड आई डू दैट एंटायर पब्लिक हेल्थ सिस्टम और गवर्नेंस में Absolutely must ask questions. जब तक आप लोगों को पूछते नहीं आपने क्या किया और don't go on you know evaluating the program or getting the feedback. There is absolutely no scope that the things will improve. Thank you. Sir, I. I am Bolu ko. कोई नहीं question? No, no, it's fine. Yeah. Sir, we really, really thank you for this very enthusiastic and passionate talk. and i am sure this must have triggered a lot of thought processes yeah. in the sorry sorry you somebody here dr thank you chachi ha wo chokni to bola tha hello ha sab chobi now so i think sir we, we conclude this talk yeah. here a yeah. lot of time has i mean yes. we have maybe yeah. overstep yeah. the time yeah. and so we thank you for the passionate and enthusiastic talk and people who are present in this room offline online many most of them may not be oriented to public health but i'm sure after your talk they will go back look into this document look into these terms now this terminology also should not be alien to them Correct. and now they will have some fair idea of you know how to align their work or even think on those lines that's extremely important to trigger the thought process and so we are very very happy to have you here today and to have deeper conversations with with you will require more platforms and you know my wider audience and maybe you know another occasions also sure. so this i believe is a is a beginning point for our interaction sir i'm very happy to have you in national institute of malaria research we are totally focused on uh, malaria as a disease and its elimination is also a goal for us in addition to the program so we are working together very closely with the program on many of our uh, Uh, you know projects and program in fact we also had written a paper on integration of the three vector borne diseases which we thought as a vision paper when eventually when the disease will come out we will talk about integration not only from surveillance but from the control perspective also so so ending on that note i thank once again to you and all the people in this room and and online for joining this lecture thank you very much thank you even after 2030 when malaria will be eliminated your institution is going to be of in great demand yes. because you will be doing research to maintain that elimination level yes, thank you friends <laughs>